Treyon Johnson, also known as Deo Gold, is an artist who loves words and the culture of hip hop. What inspires me to write is really just, I didn't know how to really just get out how I was feeling a lot of the times. I think I'm a great communicator, but it's some, it's just some things I don't quite know how to articulate the best at the current moment. And I think when I'm just hit with some overwhelming emotions like that, what I've found is uh, the, the pen and the pad, man. It's, that's what really helps me get that out. When I started rapping and I saw how you use those, you know, those different kind of like formulas within communication, I was like, whoa, this can go way farther than what I even expected. I think you really just got to be familiar with, you know, the English language. I was always... I always loved English class growing up because I loved using different words and, you know, like articulating myself better than the next person. But I think when you, you know, weave that into your actual hip hop and like, you know, your raps, that shows your intelligence as well, how you can relate to, you can be saying the same thing, but it means two different things. And it, the way you said it or the way you perceive it it, that would be the only thing that makes that change. And I think that is amazing to me. I think uh, a huge event that really shaped who I am was when I had to drop out of school. First of all, I didn't really want to. I didn't want to at all. Like, I was known for my grades. So when I had to relay that message to my family, it was like, well, then what are you going to do? I felt that I was, a, I was real lost at that point in my life. But my mom, she's always been there. It's like, she's really the strongest person I know. And she really instilled that confidence in me early. Like, don't let anybody drift you off what you really, really want to do. And it was a lot of spur of the moment things going on in my life that really made me just reevaluate who I am. And when, you know, I just stripped that, that all away and I got, you know, just by myself and I could just think for myself. It just came, it was music, it was always music. And you know, once I got that, that stereotype of me just, you know, being a black person, you wanna do hip hop out of the out of my mind, it, it made it definite. There's this quote, and it, it stuck with me ever since I read it. It says, hip hop didn't invent anything, it reinvented everything. It takes everything that's going on in the culture, it takes everything that's going on in politics, and it puts it all in this one place where anybody and everybody can listen to it. Hip hop has influenced me in ways I can't even count. To the way I dress, to the way I wear my hair, my conversation, my word choice. It's, and it's also educating me. I think that's probably what I got from the most from hip hop. want people to try to grow from the inside, not from the material things that's been going on. I want that little light bulb to just flicker in your head when you listen to my music. Like, I ain't never really thought of it like that. If I can affect you that way just by my lyrics, by my presence, by me, you know what I'm saying, getting you to hear something you never even heard before, then I won at the end of the day. One of my nicknames in high school was Trey Day. So when I, I was thinking of that as a rap name as, at first, but I'm like, there's so many Trey Days as well. Like, I can't do that. But I wanted to keep Day in there somehow. So then, you know, when I was on my, you know, my research, I came across Deo. And Deo means joy arrives in Yoruba. And then that's when it hit me. What's up, everybody? It's Deo Go. I'm in goods with some good people. I'm gonna go ahead and hold it down. Let's get into it. From the bean time to sissy, I know that they went with me. Pulling up in a bucket in my dream, it's a Bentley. Guaranteed to lose a bet if you bet against me. But I remember days that they wouldn't even mention me. Now they many me's like a centipede. It was two people around me. And I, I saw Deo and I was like, 
they all go. And they just both looked up. They was like, yeah, that's it. I like how people put together what they're saying the most over the top of the beat. Cause it's like the beat has this rhythm, but then the rapper has his own rhythm as well. But the thing is he has to coexist that within that rhythm that's already laid down. So that's what I like about music. It's like a whole story. When it comes to writing to a song, I think it all depends. Sometimes it, it'd be a day where I have to pause the beat. Like I, I know where the beat is going. I'm familiar with it and I have to just pause it and write. But then it's sometimes I have to keep the beat going and it's, and it's just on repeat and I'm just like, I gotta, I gotta find what I really wanna say. And then it'd just be a wave that just comes over me and I just, I can't stop writing. When I piece together, you know, the music and the beat and it's, and it's all coming together as a final project, you feel complete. You feel like, I feel like I'm doing my purpose. You gotta strive to be the best. And that's what I, that's what I do. Like, I got this self-confidence in me that as soon as I get on here, I'ma change everything. Like nobody did it the way I did it. I want to be the person that no matter what, he was never thinking for himself. He was always in that headspace where whatever he did, it was for the next person. It was for the next generation. And I think when people think on that, on that caliber, that's when they push the culture forward. Like, this is what I came here to do. This is what I was born to do. So this is what I'm going to do. Once I just, you know, kept repeating that, Every single day I approached the mic, it was more just like everybody in the room with me. I'm not in the room with everybody else. Someone once asked me if my life was a book, what would I title it? So I didn't quite have an answer then, but with me going through life, I had to restart all the way over. I came from a place of, of nothingness. It was a low time for me, but it, it took me finding myself. It took me taking it a day by day, step by step, that it led to my true being. So after some thought, I figured I'd title it From Black to Gold. Nobody but me, isolated 